Economic cooperation is not among the topics for the inter-Korean summit at the moment. If things go smooth, however, it's likely the next step in improving relations. Park Hee-jun turned to some experts for their views on what Seoul must consider if the talks on the issues do take place. The main agenda for the inter-Korean summit is the nuclearization and establishing a lasting peace on the Korean peninsula. But when those matters are settled, the next step is the economy. Experts on North Korea say that discussions on renewing economic cooperation between the two Koreas are necessary as it's a key factor in inter-Korean relations. While the tough set of international sanctions on North Korea remains in place, economic exchanges are limited to humanitarian aid, cultural exchanges and health care. But even for those businesses to go ahead successfully, experts are emphasizing the need to reduce the role of the government. The reopening of inter-Korean relations calls for a new form of South-North economic cooperation, which can be achieved through downsizing the central government's role and strengthening the roles of private enterprises and local authorities. It will lead to sustainable and healthy economic ties that don't waver according to status of bilateral relations. South Korea will also have to prepare for a market change in North Korea. Relieving the nuclear tensions means that North Korea is on the path of becoming a normal nation with reduced investment risks. Even though South Korea wants exclusiveness, it will have to compete with other countries for North Korean resources, mainly underground resources. Many players will be eyeing the market and the North will have more bargaining power. Experts say that the three months after the inter-Korean summit will be critical in building economic ties. Along with continued talks, establishing a joint organization will gradually lead to the two nations' economic reunification. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.